What's up everybody? Today we're taking a look at a Vivitar Zoom on the Sony A6000. Okay guys, so here it is, the Vivitar 28mm, 85mm, it's an F3.5 to F4.5, and it has a macro function on it as well. And I picked this up at my local thrift store, it was part of a bargain bag, and I got this camera in there, it's an XGM. There was a Rocker X 45 F2, and I think there was another Vivitar 28mm 2.8 in there as well. So a really good deal on this, this is multi-coated, and I paid 15 bucks for the whole bag. Now the throw on this lens is really short. You can see it doesn't even take a quarter of a turn to go from min to max. And uh, I wanted to give you an idea of what that looked like through the lens. So I went out and took a quick sample going from min there on the cattail over to the bird there, maximum focus. I'm using focus peaking to do this, but still that short um, throw on this lens uh, really helps you focus it very quickly. Now the aperture on this lens goes from f3.5 to f16. And I'll let you have a listen to the aperture changing. Now I went out and took another sample. Um, this is just starting up at f3.5 and then stopping it down just to give you an idea of what these uh, bokeh balls are going to look like. Now the focus throw on this lens is really short, but the zoom is short as well. You don't have to go very far to get from 28 millimeters to 85. And if you want to throw it into the macro mode, you just go up to 85 and then a turn to the right and you're in macro mode. Now this lens uses the Minolta MD mount and I believe Vivitar made this for many different manufacturers, this lens, but this one uses the MD. So we need an MD to NEX adapter and I'm using my trusty KNF Concept adapter. I get these off of Amazon for about 15 bucks, and I haven't had a problem with one yet. They're always really well made and a really good bargain too. Now to get the lens on the adapter, just line up the red dots and give it a half turn and it goes right on there. I actually had a question about how to get it off. That's a good question. You just hit the chrome button there on the side, the metal button, and then turn the opposite way and it'll come right off. Now that we have that adapter on the lens, it goes on like any other E-mount lens, just snaps right on there. And I went out and took a few sample shots, and this is my daughter again. She's learning how to play the ukulele, so she provided the music. Now I always like to leave you guys with a little betta fish bokeh. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. And I always like hearing your comments down below. So leave a comment and we'll see you next time.